Hey everybody, welcome back to another week of the Fogo Life. Today, tailgate videos. That's right, today we're making tailgate videos. Now, why am I not outside? Why am I not at a tailgate? Because it's South Florida, man, and it's pouring rain, of course. Anytime we plan to make a cool outdoor video, it rains. Now listen, I know tailgate season is well underway. We're already in, what, week seven of the NFL league? Man, it goes quick. But we're gonna do something cool today. We're gonna do wings. No, wait, don't go anywhere. Not chicken wings, no. We're gonna do what's known as pork wings. Check this out. We got these sent to us from our friends at Pioneer. These ones are already cooked and these ones have to be cooked. So we're gonna do two different kinds. We're gonna cook these direct. We're gonna season them. We're gonna sauce them. They're gonna be so good. These ones, we're gonna smoke and then we're gonna kind of braise them, sort of like the burnt ends kind of thing. So we got two different methods we're gonna do. I'm excited to get started. Now, let's get the play underway. Now, these are kind of different, okay? I know we call them pork wings, but in case you're wondering what a pork wing is, it's not actually a wing. Pigs don't really have wings. But what these are is these are like mini little pork shanks. Now check these out. It's like a rib, really, but it's a pork shank, a part of the leg. So these things are really cool. They are super tasty and they're super easy. Um, you want to change up your, your grilling game? You want to do something really cool? This is the answer right here, okay? Now these are raw. So what we're going to do, okay, you can see they have some fat on the backside. Nice, beautiful pink meat here. These are gorgeous and they are, trust me, when I tell you, they are delicious. So the first thing you want to do is hit them with some PS seasoning. You want to use your favorite pork rub. I like this, the Notorious PIG. It's got a little bit of kick to it. It's got a little bit of sweet to it. It is an absolutely delicious pork rub. So I'm just going to hit these things. They're already wet, so I'm not even going to put any kind of binder on them. All right, I'm just going to pour some, some rub on them. Coat them up real nice. All right. Now I know, look, Ron, you poured so much rub on there. That's right. You know why? Because now I'm going to do this. Bring it up. Shake them around, get, the, get them all covered. All right, now we flip them over, hit the bottoms, what didn't get covered. They're pretty well covered already. You can see just by shaking them around. The beautiful part is that this pork is gonna be so flavorful. It's gonna bring a whole different level of flavor to our wings. What I did is I seasoned those up so they can sit while we get the grill ready. We're cooking our Mini Max because it's a tailgate, so we wanna have our portable grill. So we're gonna use our black bed, medium-sized charcoal. It's our everyday grilling charcoal, slow and low for shorter cooks. It's great all around charcoal. So let's load up the Mini Max. I don't want these real smoky, but we're gonna go indirect. So we're gonna use our convector in there and then we're gonna just put them right on the grate. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook them for a little while and just smoke them, put a little layer of smoke. I'm not using any smoking chunks. I'm gonna have to rely on the charcoal to be enough smoke from that. Cause don't forget, it's just kiln dried wood. That's all that Fogo is, is premium kiln dried wood, all natural. So anyway, so we're gonna load this in here once it heats up a little bit, we're gonna cook them indirect. Then we're gonna put them into a pot with all kinds of buffalo sauce and Worcestershire and butter and honey and all kinds of great stuff and make them absolutely tender and so delicious. I can't wait, baby. It's gonna be a touchdown. All right, while we're waiting for that to heat up, let's talk about this cool outfit, shall we? I mean, is this thing cool or what? And you know what? If it doesn't say, hey, look at me, I don't like it. I was going through Instagram and I saw my boy River Craycraft from the Dolphins playing this, wearing this thing. I reached out, the company is called Foco, not Fogo. When I saw that F-O-C-O, -O, I was like, I gotta have a set, I gotta have a set. So I reached out and here we go. Look how cool. And we are ready for our next step, and that is to put these babies on the grill. We're at 250 degrees. So we're gonna cook them, like I said, indirect first. So let's lay them on here. Oh, they look so good. That color of that notorious PIG seasoning is absolutely beautiful. That's looking better than a Dolphins field goal. What? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let those sleep on there for about 15, 20 minutes. Not long, all right? We just wanted to get a little color on them, get a little smoke on them. Then we're gonna put them down in that pot, and then we're gonna really season them up. It's gonna be awesome, man. Just you wait, like nothing you've ever seen before. All right, now, they always say that I'm a friend of the community. Well, I love you guys so much, I decided to do something while we're waiting for these babies to cook. I got in touch with my friends at Pig Wings, and guess what? We're gonna do a giveaway. That's right, a giveaway. You could win some of these things. So here's what we're gonna offer up, okay? It's one five pound bag of two ounce pig wing minis. Ooh. One five pound bag of four ounce wing drummies. Ooh, again. And two packages of four one pound raw pig wings big wings. That's what we got cooking right now. So if you want to be entered, okay, all you got to do is go below and comment hashtag pig wings. Thank you, Captain Ron. Just do that. You'll be entered. We'll pick a winner before next week. Go Dolphins. All right, guys, they've been smoking. It's time to get chefy with it. <laughs> so we got to have this chef's hat too. Woo! We're having some fun today, baby. Tailgate season. Now, 
These things have reached 140 degrees in temperature internal. So what I want to do is I'm going to take these off and I'm going to put them in this pot right here. Okay. Oh, look at that. They look awesome. Beautiful. That beautiful seasoning on there. Ah, they're going to be good. So we're going to load them into our pot here. So normally I like to make buffalo wings. I make my buffalo sauce. But I also like to do things like burnt ends and things like that. So I'm going to combine the two methods. So I'm going to make my buffalo wing sauce right on top of them in here and cook them in here like this. So I'm going to add a bunch of hot sauce. I'm going to go about, I don't know, a cup, maybe two thirds of a cup, maybe a cup. Just a nice coating. I'm going to put a splash of white vinegar, one of my all-time favorite items in the world, a little splash of W sauce, some Rancho Calavera honey for a little sweet with the heat, and top it off with about a half a stick of butter. Now, we're going to put our lid on our pot and put it right back on the egg here. Now, I measured this beforehand to make sure it would fit. Make sure you're using a pot that'll fit on here, okay? Sometimes you want to use a, a lower aluminum pan, pan or something like that, but go ahead and do that. Now, you can see it doesn't close. What I did do, once I take my thermometer out, it closes up perfectly. So sometimes you just gotta finagle it a little bit, you know? Kind of a, call an audible at the line of scrimmage. Now we're gonna let this go for about a half hour, 45 minutes or so, let them really tenderize, let them really soak in all that flavor, let all that sauce do its job. So let's just sit back and once again, we wait, time out. Our first set of pig wings is ready to go. So they are looking and smelling good. Yeah, I won't lie, I checked on them a minute ago, okay? All right, now I'm gonna pull these off of here. Nice and tender. Oh yeah, look at that, the bone's just about falling out of them. Now what we did is we took them to 145, then when they got there, I actually let them keep going for a while longer, so they, they went quite a bit more than that, and they're super tender now, and they smell unbelievable. And we're gonna give a little greenery for some pop, make it look even prettier. What do you think of that? How's that look? Come on, stick. We almost forgot. We got a whole other set of wings to cook. Now these ones, of course, were cooked. They come pre-cooked. They come sous vide, so they're already fully cooked. All we have to do is reheat them. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour them a little, little bit of seasoning on them, just like this, and let them sit like this while I heat the grill up. Now these ones we're gonna do a little different. We're not gonna do these buffalo, we're gonna do them barbecued. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch this over to direct grilling. Take this out of here, I'm gonna put our grate back in, and let this heat up for just a couple minutes. It's got a nice flame going already. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cook those other ones direct, because oh, they only have to be reheated, okay? So it's just gonna take a couple flipping for about maybe five minutes, and then we'll have the full meal, ready to go, tailgate, ready, absolutely amazing. Anybody next to you at a tailgate, smelling these and seeing what you're eating is gonna wanna know what the heck is going on, I can tell you that right now. We had this going direct, so our grill is nice and heated up so it's ready. So we're just gonna take these babies and just pop them on here one at a time. Ooh, a little sizzle going, a little sizzle action. So what our goal here is to make the seasoning adhere to it, get a little bit of the nice um, crispiness to it, get a little char on them, cause hey, you know, the char is the star, so they say. All right, so we're just gonna let those go for a little while, direct. All right, so I gotta be honest with you here, okay? We were doing this, I spilled sauce all over my cool overalls. So I had to take them off and get changed. I didn't want to, but I had to, all right? So I'm a little bit sad right now, but that's okay because I think we're gonna have some really good food here. So that's gonna kind of make up for it, but I am a little sad about that. It's starting to develop some color. They've only been on for a minute or two. So they are starting to develop some nice color and they're starting to smell. You can smell that, you can smell that smoke going. Now you can see the smoke going. I can smell the smoke going. All right, we're just gonna keep flipping these. I don't want them to burn. I want them to heat evenly through. So we're just gonna keep flipping them. We wanna to go to 145 with these. They're at 140, so it's time to sauce them. We use my good buddy Tillman's Chipotle apple. Goes beautiful with pork. I mean, beautiful. All right, so we're gonna just pour some on. Oh yeah. Woo wee, you should smell that. <laughs> use our brush, kinda of spread it out a little bit. Give it a nice even coat. All right, we're gonna give them a flip, repeat on the other side, and then we are done. By the time we're done with that, they'll be at 145, and we'll be ready to chow down, eat some tailgate food, watch some dolphins, maybe win a game again. <laughs> okay, look at that. And I believe we are there. That's right, we're there. Now, I have not tried these like this, so this is gonna be a first for me, and with these flavorings, anyway. Oh my God. Okay. I know. Oh my God. Wow, is that good. They're so tender too. They always amaze me, always amaze me. Absolutely outstanding. Look at that. I mean, nice clean bite, so delicious. 
Now for the buffalo ones. I got a little cool while sitting here, but you know, I can't have buffalo without my blue cheese, baby. Here we go. This is my first time trying these ones. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Shut the front door. They are so good. Pig wings, who'd have thought? I didn't even know pigs had wings. Anyway, that's a Pink Floyd reference, maybe. Tillman's barbecue sauce on these, that chipotle apple. I mean, that goes with pork beautifully. That char on there, that char is the star, man. So good. Anyway, folks, you're gonna wanna participate in that giveaway. So remember, hashtag, and put, it, put the comment down there below because you're gonna wanna enter this. You're gonna wanna win this. They are phenomenal. You wanna amp up your tailgate game? That is how you do it, right there. So good. Anyway, that's all we've got for you this week, folks. If you like what you saw here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like our, like our video, and don't forget to leave the comments below. I left you all kinds of stuff to leave us comments in this one. Anyway, we always wanna thank you so much for tuning in. We love you and we appreciate you. And remember to get out and grill and we'll see you the next time on the Tailgating Fogo Life. Captain Ron, out! <laughs>